can see two nodular shaped structures here. Okay, this is the corniculate and cuneiform cartilages. Okay, so these two are corniculate and cuneiform cartilages. Okay, they maintain the area epiglottic wall. So what happens during swallowing? We have deglutition apnea. That means air is not entering into the nose or into the larynx as well. So how does it close? Epiglottis does not fall back. Remember that it's a cartilage. It is remaining constant that way. Airy epiglottic folds contract. Okay, they contract, thereby bringing posterior wall of the larynx close to anterior wall of the larynx, like a shutter. Okay, it is closed from posterior wall comes to anterior wall. Okay, because of the contraction of airy epiglotticus muscle inside the airy epiglottic folds. That's how the larynx is closed. Okay, while deglutition, and then the food enters into the pharynx. It doesn't enter into the larynx. But what do we do? Okay, we also talk while eating, right? When eating, when we are talking, what what happens? What is the mechanism of talking? Air is coming out of the larynx. Okay, during expiration, you can see here folds. This is the inside of the larynx. You can see two folds here, right? So this is called as vestibular fold, and this is called as vocal fold. So vestibular folds contains false vocal cords. These are also called as false vocal cords, and vocal folds contains vocalis muscle and vocal ligament. Together is called as true vocal cords. So these are the vocal cords which are vibrating during expiration. That produces our voice. Okay, that's why this is called as voice box a larynx is called as voice box see here so these are the true vocal folds and the false vocal folds okay right now let's see inside of the larynx what are the features which we can see this space between the vestibular fold and the vocal fold that is called as sinus of the larynx okay this is region which is called as sinus of the larynx this portion is the inlet of the larynx from where the larynx is opening up Okay, right. Inlet of the larynx is formed by epiglottis, airy epiglottic folds, and arytenoid cartilages. Inlet of the larynx. Okay, and here we will see. This is the supraglottic compartment. Glottis means what? The space present between the vocal cords is called as glottis. Above the vocal cords, this space is called as supraglottic compartment. and below the vocal cords it is called as infraglottic compartment okay you have to study the muscles of the uh, larynx to understand the movements of vocal folds and closure of the glottis all this will come in your exam okay right clear with the larynx everyone